Welcome to Central Christian Church Bible Story Time. My name is Miss Nikki, and each week I'm going to share with you a true story from the Bible. The Bible is a big book made up of a lot of little books written by a variety of people who were inspired by God to tell his story. Because they were inspired and instructed by God, we know that these stories are true. And when we read them, we learn about who God is, why he created us, and what he wants for our lives. Today's story is about pride. Sometimes pride can be a good thing. You feel proud of yourself for being on the A honor roll or singing a solo. I feel proud of my children when I see them being kind to others or when they do their chores without being asked. But pride can be an ugly thing too. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. Sometimes pride means thinking you're better than others. The problem with this is that God does not like that kind of pride. When we think we are better than others, we also start to think that we don't need God and that we can handle everything on our own. The thing is, we always need God. He made us so that we would need him. He wants us to depend on him and ask him for help. If we think that we have everything figured out and that we know it all, then we're really going to go our own way. And that means turning away from God. Just think about the last time you disobeyed your parents or you weren't nice to a friend. You put your thoughts and feelings ahead of theirs and didn't care about how the other person felt. That's pride. In this story, you'll see how God handles that kind of pride and how badly he wants to stop it. It all started with a king named Nimrod. Yes, that was really his name. Everything was going great. Everyone in the whole world spoke the same language. Some of the people ended up living in a place called Babylonia. Then King Nimrod decided he wanted to be famous. He wanted everyone to know him and think he was great. He convinced the people that lived in Babylonia that they too could be great and famous if they built a tower that went all the way up to heaven. So the people went to work making bricks for the Tower of Babel. It was hard work, but the people just wanted everyone in the world to know that they had made the tower and it could reach up to heaven. So they worked even harder. The people also convinced themselves that by building the tower, they would stay united. Since they already spoke the same language, now they would be building the tower together. Their pride had taken over and all they were thinking about was how they would be known all over the world for building the biggest and the best tower ever. They wanted to show off. And you know that showing off is not a good thing. God could see what was happening all along, but decided to come down to earth and see the tower the people were building. God could tell the people's hearts were more focused on themselves and the tower than on him. He was very disappointed and angry with them. God said, I see that the people think they can do anything because they all speak the same language. They have already begun to turn away from me and soon there won't be anything good left. All they'll do is sin. I will mix up their language so they won't understand each other. This way, they won't be able to work together to sin against me. After God said this, the people could no longer understand each other. It seemed like they were babbling or making funny noises. All the people suddenly spoke different languages and they were very confused. This was the beginning of languages. Imagine what would have happened if these people hadn't tried to build the tower in the first place and they just focused on worshiping God. Maybe we would all speak the same language today. From there, the Lord scattered the people all over the whole earth. It's interesting because when the people started building the Tower of Babel, Babel meant gateway to God. But after God mixed up their language, it meant confusion. 
Even the word babble that we use today is said to come from that day when everyone was babbling with confusion. So you can see how much God doesn't like pride. The people could have done amazing things for God when they all spoke the same language and they could have been unified in that way. Instead, they decided to do something silly and show off and build a big tower just so that people would notice them and think they were great. The opposite of pride is humility or to be humble. The way you can be humble is by realizing that everyone is special and created by God in his image. Poor people, people who can't walk or see, short people, tall people, old people, young people, brown people, peach people, people from different countries, people who wear different kinds of clothing, even people who make bad choices. God created us all and he loves all of his creation and all of his children. He doesn't like or approve of everything we do. He didn't approve of the way the people in Babylonia were building a tower to show off and get attention for themselves. But he never stopped loving them and wanting them to do right and follow his ways. If you want to be humble, and I hope you do, remember to listen to your parents and those in authority, like teachers and coaches. Remember to be kind to others instead of being ugly or saying mean things. Remember to read your Bible and pray and talk to God. By doing these things, you're not focusing just on yourself. You're focusing on God and you're focusing on others, which is what he wants us to do. After all, that kind of ugly pride causes a lot of trouble. That's our story today about the Tower of Babel. I hope you learned a little bit more about what God wants for you and how he wants us to live. Next week, we're going to learn about Abraham and a very special promise that God made to Abraham. Until then, I want you all to know that God created you and he loves you no matter what. He wants you to talk to him, read his word, and follow his ways. I also want you to know that people that love God love you too. If you live in Brownsville and don't go to church, I hope you'll come see us at Central Christian. If you can't actually come to church, we hope that you'll watch our live stream on Facebook where you can hear our beautiful worship music and hear our pastor Lance preach the word of God every Sunday. If you don't live nearby, I hope you and your family will find a church to attend where people who love God will share his love with you. Remember that God created you special and unique. He loves you very much and he wants you to follow his ways. Check back next week for another true story from the Bible at Central Christian Church.